Hi everyone! Today we are going to make five nuts mooncake. It is a traditional, aromatic, and tasty Chinese dessert. It's especially popular during the mid-autumn festival, but can be enjoyed all year round. This mooncake has five types of nuts as a filling. You can use walnuts, peanuts, cashews, almonds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, or any other combination. Now let's get started. First, we will make a baking soda solution for the dough. Heat 100 milliliters of water, add one teaspoon baking soda, stir until boiling, then simmer for about five minutes. Now let it cool. To make the dough, sift 130 grams of all-purpose flour, add 25 grams of corn oil or peanut oil, 80 grams of honey, and one teaspoon of the baking soda solution that we just made. Stir, then knead until the dough comes together and becomes soft. Cover it up and put it in the fridge for about one hour. In the meantime, we can make the filling. I am going to use roasted peanuts, cashews, almonds, walnuts, and black sesame seeds as well as sunflower seeds, but feel free to use whatever seeds or nuts you'd like. To crush them up, simply put them in a Ziploc bag, then use a rolling pin like so. Once you're satisfied with the filling, combine the nuts together and add 30 grams of chopped dried cranberries. Next add 50 grams of corn oil or peanut oil, 20 grams of honey, 30 to 50 grams of sugar, and 30 grams of water. We also need to stir fry 130 grams of all-purpose flour. Heat a frying pan on medium heat, add the flour, and stir continuously until it turns slightly tan. Add it to the nut mixture, and mix all the ingredients together. If needed, you can add more water to make the filling stick together. Divide the mixture into 16 pieces, about 26 to 28 grams per piece. Then form them into balls. For the dough, divide it into 16 pieces, about 14 to 15 grams per piece. Shape these into balls as well. Now use a rolling pin to flatten them out, aiming for a very thin circle. Now place a ball of filling on the center of the wrapper and gather the dough up around the filling in even pleats. Pinch to close up the top and gently smooth out the pleats. Here's a tip. Roll the dough on a piece of plastic wrap. This makes the wrapper easier to peel off instead of sticking to the surface. Place the mooncake in the mooncake mold and gently but firmly press down on the handle for a few seconds. The mooncake should retain the shape and design of the mold. If needed, you can add some flour inside the mold to avoid any sticking. Place the mooncakes on a baking tray lined with a silicone baking sheet. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Before putting them in the oven, spray some water. This will help to prevent cracking. Bake for 5 minutes, then take them out of the oven and let them cool for another 5 minutes. Now set the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Brush the mooncakes with a mixture of a beaten egg yolk and a teaspoon of water, then put them back in the oven for another 5 minutes or until they turn golden brown on top. If you prefer your mooncakes darker, you can brush them with the egg yolk again before placing them back into the oven for an additional five minutes. After they have completely cooled, cover the mooncakes and let them rest in a cool place, but not the fridge, for another one to two days. The wrapper of the mooncakes will absorb the oils and flavors from the filling and become soft and tender. Enjoy! Please like the video if you enjoyed the recipe, and subscribe for more traditional Asian recipes. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comment section.